Okay, we have reached the last subtopic of chapter 5. The combination of Simpson's one-third rule and three-eighth rule. Both Simpson's one-third rule and three-eighth rule are used to approximating the integral of a function from A to B. And this one-third rule is used if your n value, your number of interval, is even. And the 3-8 rule is used when your n is equal to 3. Okay. If you have uh, you have been given a question, and the question uh, stated that the n value is 7. So, what rule you need to use if this n is equal to 7? So, for this case, we can apply the Simpson one third rule and three eight rule in tandem, meaning to say we can combine both rules together. Okay, let's take a look at this illustration here. Uh, this line here is the fx, your function fx, and now you want to find the integral of fx from a to b where our a for this case is 0 and b is 0 0.7 so to approximate this integral from 0 to 0 0.7 we can uh, find the integration by dividing the interval a to b to seven intervals. Okay, so uh, the first interval, the second interval, the third interval, the fourth interval, fifth interval, the sixth interval, and the seventh interval. So, if you want to use Simpson's rule to approximate the interval, which rule you need to use? One third or three eighth rule? You cannot just use one third rule because uh, your n value is not even number. And besides, you also cannot use 3 8 rule because to use 3 8 rule, you need your n must be equal to 3. So, for cases like this, we need to apply the Simpson 1 third rule and 3 8 rule in tandem. So, you need to combine both rules. So, for the first four interval, you must apply the 1 third rule. And for the last three intervals, you need to apply for the 3 8 rule. So your integration will look like something like this. So for the first value is for the first four interval. So you are now integrating the fx from 0 until 0 0.4. And plus with the second integration of fx from 0 0.4 until the last x or the last uh, the upper limit of your integration, which is 0 0.7. And after that, you just um, calculate the integrals for both for both values and you will get the final value of your integral of fx from a0 until b0.7 therefore we can conclude that simpson's one third rule and 3 8 rule will be applied in tandem if and only if our n values are odd numbers Alright, let's discuss one example. I think you can read this on your own. Okay, let's see this sentence here. This is the important statement in this question. 
Suppose that an MRI scan indicates that the cross-sectional areas of adjacent slices of tumor are given by the values in the following table. So the values inside the table is the cross-sectional area and also the adjacent slices of a tumor. So the area is given by AX and the adjacent slices of tumor is given by the values of X. And the question is, estimate the volume of the tumor. Okay, to calculate the volume, so the formula is the integration of the area with respect to X from A to B. So for this case, our A is 0 and our B is 1.1. And from this table, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 data points. So meaning that your N is equal to 11. And number 1, and number 2, and number 3, and number 4. And number 5, and number 6, and number 7, and number 8, and number 9, and number 10, and, and number 11. So for n is equal to 11, so since our n is odd number, therefore we must apply Simpson's one-third rule and three-eight rule in tandem. We must combine both rules. You cannot just use the Simpson 3-8 rule because for Simpson 3-8 rule, your n value must equal to 3 only.